House of the Dragon so far has been awesome. And they used a virtual set to capture this scene of Daemon Targaryen in Dragonstone. And it was the first virtual production show shot at the new Warner Brothers V stage in Leavesden, UK. And it's been incredible! Because they used virtual production in the perfect way. But what do I mean by that? Well, we've seen virtual production in recent, highly anticipated TV series, and it hasn't gone very well. Hello there. But why is that? What makes this bad and this amazing? Before I answer that, quickly, to all of you folks out there who are saying, I saw it was virtual, it was so bad, blah blah blah. Off with your head! No you didn't. And second off, if you did, who cares? This is a show about dragons. You can suspend your disbelief past an LED panel. So I've broken it down to three reasons why this scene worked so well. First, the mood. The atmosphere. Just look how smoggy and how moody it is in Dragonstone. In order to achieve this in real life, you'd have to be there on the right day, at the right time. Everyone has to be ready. And for the right lighting conditions, you have 15 minutes to get that shot. Then you take that shot and you apply CGI to it anyway because dragons. Now with the virtual, we've got all of the time in the world. We can just set the sun in the sky and shoot as many takes as we need. And trust me, Reese agrees with me on this one. It's really useful in, in the sense that you could freeze a sunset. Other than shooting it in real, what's the alternative? We know that Game of Thrones uses their blue green screen. Would Matt Smith playing Damon react to Cyrix as quickly and as good as he did? Well, he's a pretty good actor, so I mean, who knows? But this is an aid to the actor to be able to see what they're reacting to, and many claim that this leads to a better performance. Now, the second reason why I think this works so well is because they're not moving all over the place. I mean, they almost did. Whoa, whoa, swords out, that was close. In my opinion, this is where virtual works best. High drama, minimal, crazy, shaky movements. I was so drawn to the dialogue of this scene I didn't even know that this was shot in virtual, and that's kind of my job. I mean, this is House of Dragons, this is Game of Thrones, they build castles for this show. How am I supposed to know they didn't just fly out to Basque County in Spain and shoot this scene out in a day? I don't know. They shot this at the height of the pandemic travel restrictions, which also aided this process. They LiDAR scanned the entire bridge in Basque County in Spain, where they shot Game of Thrones, to recreate a perfect replica of the location. And my last reason was the reflections of the armor. Look at these reflections on the armor. They're perfect. Because you lit it the way you wanted to, you're not gonna have to take out those green and blue screen reflections. I'm really excited to see if House of Dragons uses more examples of virtual production. Now, if you haven't seen any virtual production BTS, it kind of flips your filmmaking mind on its head. It's a big challenge, and luckily we here at Copilot got to test our skills last fall when we shot our short film fully on virtual. You can check out that video right over here.